Hello Aries, Sun signs, Aries rising signs, moons and cusps. This is your December 2018 taroscope from me, Kim, at Expressions of the Universe. And I have your stars and I have your cards. So let's get started. Mercury will be going direct on Thursday, December 6th in the sixth house of health. Our communications are improving. Our mental intelligence, our thoughts are becoming a little clearer. Not so sure for the Aries though. I do see this month being that of social butterfly. You're going to be extremely busy, but I really feel 2018 for the Aries has been extremely draining and you're about wiped out. So with Jupiter being in Sagittarius, the sun being in Sagittarius, it is a sister brother fire sign for you. Your agenda is full, but I see from the cards that you really just don't have the energy. Mercury will be going direct in the sixth house of health, meaning we need to take better care of ourselves. We need to eat better, get plenty of sleep, we need to exercise and we also need time for quiet contemplation. Even if you're only taking a few minutes to just ground yourself every day away from the crowds, just, you know, do a little ohm. You need it, Aries. You really do. Otherwise, you're just going to burn yourself out and be very sick by New Year's Eve because you just won't be wanting to get out of bed. There will be no energy. We have a new moon on Friday, December 7th. So it's all about new moon wishes, setting those intentions and getting ready for the new year. Now, I did a video for the Jupiter in Sagittarius transit, which will last until December of 2019. I picked one card for each month and this is the December card. It is spider animal totem. It says, make your dreams come true. This is about creating the life that you want to live. This is about weaving the web in which you will inhabit. You have to know that we are the creators of our lives. Everything that's showing up on the outside is what we're creating from the inside. I feel though that Aries could be lacking in creativity as well as that energy. Like I said, I'm seeing like a little bit of a burnout situation. Don't worry, set the intentions, just prepare for the new moon, prepare for the new year, and it should all work out well if you pay attention to that sixth house and take care of yourself, nurture yourself, take care of your health. Uh, let's see, so that new moon, it's hitting everybody in the second house, which is about money and material possessions. However, specifically for Aries, once again, it's the sixth house. So here I am, he, I'm seeing loud and clear in the stars that Aries really need to take this month to improve on your health. Get the rest that you need. You know, don't you wanna be ready for the holidays when they come and be able to go out and party like a social butterfly, because I do see 11th house activity for you, especially around the winter solstice on December 21st. And it's you being very social, you're getting out there and getting out and about. And now with Mercury going direct, communications are going to be flowing. Now, the one thing I do wanna point out is the full moon. It is in the third house, which is once again, communications. It's at zero degrees cancer. All of that water could leave your emotions completely, um, you know, in a wreck. And all of that water dumping on Aries fire, you could be wiped out come December 22nd, right before the holidays actually kick in and go full blast. So try and, try and pay attention to your health over the next few weeks so you can get ready for the holidays. We also have some 12th house activity, which is karma, past lives, spiritual activity, 
combined on the cusp of the first house, which is the self. So here again, I'm say I'm seeing that we do need to take care of ourselves, Aries, sun signs, rising signs, moons and cusps. But there are some wounds from the past or a past life that still need some healing. Um, this was a rough year for a lot of us. I think there was a big toll on those Aries. I also see a highlight of the 10th house, which is all about the career. And it's kind of like work, 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 work. So you're working a lot. Maybe, um, I'm thinking maybe you're working yourself to the bone in a job that you're really not loving too much. So let's get started with the cards. I have the Mother of Swords coming up, and this is, uh, it's not really that great. I'm thinking because of the burnout, the ego is in full force. Because of Mercury retrograde, your words, your thoughts, they're coming out in a very rash, very harsh way, and people are not taking it the right way. Um, this is coming in at the beginning of the month. Here we have the Child of Wands reversed, which is what is showing me that very low energy, the lack of creativity, the boredom, feeling as though your fire has burned out. I think you've just burned yourselves out, Aries, over this year, trying to scramble and do everything, you know, status quo. But this was a very unusual and different kind of year for you. And so I implore you to take the rest of this month off and rest. Now, also, I have the Mother of Cups, which is indicating to me very, <clears throat> very high emotions, emotional wounds of the heart that still need to be healed. And I'm thinking that's where it ties into that 12th house and also the 6th house of health. Take care of your heart for the rest of the month because you're not going to be able to start the new year off well if you're not caring for the self. And then finally, this is the Magician, but it is reverse, and I love this card, check that out. It's reversed, and it's saying because of the burnout, whether it be mental or physical, you are just not creating magic. Uh, your intuition, you know, is, is waning, um, especially with this new moon coming, you're really becoming a little deflated. You're not able to make the combinations that you used to be able to. And it's because you need to rest and take care of yourself. So Aries, that's all I have for you for this month. And I hope you take my advice and get that rest eat well, rest, get some exercise, get some quiet meditation time, and come back and see me in January to see what I have for you. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, comment me here and subscribe so that you can come back next month or even next week to see the weekly wisdom. So until then, so long Aries.